Luca, can you say love you? Hello and welcome to another video and the competition is literally a couple of days away. We're going to head up there tomorrow so I'm very much in the uh, final straight. However, I don't know if you've seen it or not. This is a bit of a weird one. Like basically, I'm making this video today uh, so I have some videos there but I don't know whether the comp's going to be up like straight away or whether it will take a bit of time in which case I'll probably put this one up first. So either you've watched the comp and you know how I've got on and I don't which is pretty weird um, or you haven't watched the comp and like me you're eagerly anticipating the video itself. Uh, either way today is going to be like pretty boring I'll be honest. Sorry mate. Uh, because... I'm not training, I'm literally just sitting in my house waiting to go up to the competition to get on with it. Like the last couple of days have been pretty like, it's one of those where like all the hard work's done, like all the preparation is done, I'm literally just like counting the, the minutes until it happens. So kind of sucks, but at the same time I'm super excited, so that's good as well. So in terms of today's video, I'm basically gonna uh, run you through the plan. I'm gonna go and get all of the food and drink and stuff I need for the day, which should be pretty exciting. I'm gonna get all of my stuff prepped for the day as well. Um, yeah, so I guess in a way it will be exciting. Uh, breakfast has already happened. It went a little bit like this. In terms of food for the day, um, I'm going to kind of play it fairly average. Nothing crazy, nothing like like small because my weight's like exactly where I need it to be. I'm like not, I was 93.3 kilos this morning. The weight class is 93 exactly. So again, it's where I want to be because it means I can do a really minor water cut, um, which if you're not sure, just basically means drinking loads of water up to the day before and then cutting water right down the evening before. Um, and I'll lose probably another half a kilo, which will put me under that 93 kilo class. Um, but yeah, it basically means I can eat like what I want within reason. I actually had a couple of light days. So yesterday and the day before that, I was down at like 90, mid 92 kilos. And I was eating quite a lot of food, so I had to like really force myself. I'm, I set a effectively had two pretty decent cheat days yesterday and the day before and my weight is now back up to like I said 93.3 where I want it to be like basically you might be thinking well isn't that a good thing you want to be down at 92 I don't like I, I basically if you're in a 93 or whatever kilo class you're in you want to really maximize it. there's no point sitting a kilo below that you want to kind of make the most of that class so ideally I'd weigh in at like 93 bang on 92.9 so with that said let's go and get the day started and you join me in Sainsbury's car park where I am heading into Sainsbury's, surprisingly enough. If you find yourself in Sainsbury's car park, by the way, and you're not going to Sainsbury's, it's probably 2 a.m. and you're probably a pervert. Anyway, just thought I'd come here to pick up some stuff for the day. Also give you a quick physique update. So this is how I was looking this morning. Um, this is probably like up there with the leanest I've been. And bear in mind, A, I'm a powerlifter, and B, I haven't done abs in literally like two years. So it's not too bad. Anyway, let's get into Sainsbury's and buy some stuff. So we have some Taste the Difference cookies, some Turkish Delight, some Ripples, two bags of Haribo, salt and of Pringles, four bottles of Lucasade, and four cans of Monster. This is A, a lot of crap, and B, a lot of calories. I think it gives me just over 6,000 calories. Now the plan is to eat the majority of this over the course of the competition day, so not all like during the comp, because that would be madness, but over the course of the day, which is probably still madness, but um, I'll let you into my thinking. Uh, basically, in a normal day, you wouldn't eat this kind of crap. Um, you'd eat food, you know, you'd eat whole food, good food, like healthy, balanced stuff, but obviously when you're competing, you only have short uh, periods of time between waning and then each lift. Um, and if I was gonna go and sit and have a big, like, uh, fiber and protein, filled meal i'm gonna feel like really uncomfortable i'm gonna feel sick and i'm gonna find it hard to lift so this kind of stuff is gonna uh, give me the calories for energy that i need without making me feel really full and uncomfortable now with that said there is um a slight kind of contradiction there because uh what i'm gonna be doing uh post weighing is deliberately trying to get bloated so it sounds really really bizarre and like counterintuitive but basically um for the squat in particular, when you're bloated, when your stomach's like bigger, your leverages are better. Basically, the bigger the bigger you are, the, the more efficient your levers and stuff are, so effectively, the, the, the more you can squat. 
Um, so a good way to get bloated is to consume sodium, to consume salt, okay? So I've been fishing around for the saltiest things I can get, which I can consume in the smallest window possible, i.e. between weigh-in and my first squat. And I've come across these. These are like the saltiest crisps I could find. So they're salt and Pringles, and they have like almost five grams of salt. Also, I managed to find, this is my like jackpot. I found this in the cupboard yesterday. Obviously, I know like what stock cubes are, but I didn't realize how horrendously salty they are. I'm probably gonna think twice about eating these now after a competition, but one stock cube has like 4.2 grams of salt. That's insane, one stock cube. Like I made a uh, tortellini the other night and I had pretty much a whole thing of stock with it. That's over four grams of salt, freaking hell. So if you're having stock cubes, like be careful with that because that is insane. But like I said, for this purpose, it is ideal. So what I'll do is I'll nail those Pringles and I'll put this in boiling water and bring it out with me like with a flask, I guess, like an old man, um, and down that as well. And that's gonna give me a massive amount of salt. And with the food as well, that's gonna allow me to get a bloat, which is gonna help my squat leverages. Obviously, I don't want that throughout the day because with deadlift, for example, it's gonna actually be probably uh, detrimental being bloated, but for the squat particularly, it's gonna feel good. However, it's got to be, there is like a fine balance because if you go too far the other way and you're feeling really, really full and really bloated, obviously it's gonna impair your performance. So it's getting a fine balance. I've seen uh, people like uh, Russell, Tim Thibodeau, Nick Wright have been doing it recently. They've been like eating the salty crisps and then having like, uh, what's it called, like Clamato, which is like tomato and some tomato and clam like cocktail mix or something, which again is insanely salty, but I think I found like the ultimate salt source, short of just eating a teaspoon of salt in these uh, stock cubes. Anyway, I'm gonna put all this crap away because I have some work to do. This is a decaf coffee in a Waitrose cup because I'm an absolute loser. This is actually uh, from a coffee we got two days ago, but because coffee in a takeaway cup is like way better than coffee in a normal cup, I kept the cup, although it only has a limited lifespan, it's already starting to disintegrate. Um, I've got some water here. This is my fifth one of these today, and it's like 11 o'clock. Um, as I said earlier, the water cut I've got to do basically means I have to drink a freaking load of water now. So today and tomorrow I'm going to be drinking eight liters of water, which is pretty insane come to think of it. Um, I'm getting my work done, well, I'm getting as much work done as I can now, programs and stuff, because obviously come the competition, my mind's going to be elsewhere, so I want to try and get as much as I can uh, done now. And also, I want to just quickly talk about these, the cookies I showed you earlier, they are going to be my secret weapon for competition day, right? So basically, um, the class I'm in is not lifting until the afternoon, probably like maybe three o'clock, which means that I'm not weighing in until 12 o'clock, which like lifting later in the day is good in the sense that you're going to feel stronger. Um, but at the same time, it sucks because of the 12 o'clock weighing. It means I can't eat or drink much, if anything at all, until that point, because obviously I need to be in that 93 kilo class. So if I was to go and have a big breakfast, for example, it's gonna push me way over that limit. So um, yeah, that's not ideal. But I got thinking and I thought, what food can I consume that's gonna give me calories but not give me any weight? And the answer is these. So for 100 grams of these, which is like, what, five cookies or something? four cookies, it's like 520 calories. Basically, if I eat this whole pack, which I'll do pretty comfortably, it's gonna add on 0.2 of a kilo to my body weight, which is negligible, I can get away with doing that and still make weight, but it's gonna give me like over a thousand calories, which is absolutely ideal. If you can, if you contrast that with like a big bowl of cereal, like my, my regular breakfast like I had this morning, the fruit and fiber with milk, that's gonna add on like probably half a kilo. So this is gonna give me a lot more calories. Obviously they're not great calories, but it's a lot more calories and a lot less weight. And that is my goal. So that's obviously what I'm gonna go for. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get as much stuff as I can done now. Then when Luca wakes up, we'll say hello. Someone's awake. Can I say hello? Are you gonna hit me in the face with the camera lens cover? Luca, can you say love you? Okay, Lucas, so you're gonna help me out here, mate. So, oh, it is time, my friends, to go through the comp bag and make sure I have everything and then give you like a quick idea of what is required if you happen to be competing. So, Luca, you're gonna help me? What's this? First off, key ingredient, the singlet. Any powerlifting comp, you've gotta wear a singlet, AKA unitard, AKA uh, big mankini. Then we have a, like a plain black T-shirt. Uh, fun fact, the same one I wore at my first comp like three years ago. Pants, good. So it turns out, and this is a key one, you have to wear like tight pants. You can't wear big old baggy boxers. So if you're a kind of guy that likes wearing long johns, not gonna happen at a comp. Socks, long socks. When you deadlift, you have to wear long socks. 
Next up, me sleeves, which by the way, mine absolutely reek. Uh, I've washed them twice in like three years, but for me, these are absolutely key. In the raw class, in the IPF, you can wear knee sleeves, you can't wear knee wraps. Squat shoes, again, fundamental. A lot of people wear like flat shoes, but um, for me, I'm a big fan of like a raised heel when I squat. Then we have a belt, which is pretty self-explanatory. Sweat towel, because I'm a sweaty, sweaty man. Next up, deadlift shoes. Although you see me deadlift in socks all the time, when you compete, you've got to wear some kind of shoe, so these are just they cost like five pounds, they're just super flat plimsoll type things. They've been in the cupboard for like four months of the covered in cobwebs. And then finally, liquid chalk. Now, although uh, they always have like chalk at comps, I'm a big fan of liquid chalk. I'm also a big fan, even more importantly, of using what you're used to using. And that is pretty much that. Obviously, it's going to be like more clothes. Like, I'm not going to be wearing a. Quite annoying, Luca. I'm not wearing like a unitard for the whole weekend, uh, but this is the integral stuff. I'll do like another checkup maybe tomorrow to make sure I definitely have all of my stuff, but pretty sure I'm good to go. Right, it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. I have some sandwich stuff. Probably gonna make a sandwich. have it a pretty freaking sweet looking sandwich so I've got a couple of doubles um, with Swiss cheese pastrami uh, chorizo and salami and then some Moroccan hummus which as far as I understand is hummus from Morocco um, I reckon they're gonna be good they're good they taste of Morocco um, got some squash there that is now I think I'm probably up to about five liters after that, so over halfway, which is good. Broken the back of the water intake. Um, and I think, my friends, I'm gonna end the video here. After lunch, it's pretty, pretty rare occurrence, but basically, like, I've got stuff to do, and to be honest, I'm finding it hard to, like, focus on making a video because I am very distracted about the competition. Like, and to be honest, it's quite good, like, having the work and stuff to do, uh, although it's a ball lake, is quite good because it's, like, it's distracting, like, ultimately, I want things that are going to distract me because otherwise I just literally sit there and just think about the competition and that is like not very helpful. But yeah, I'm going to eat this and then go and relax, watch some videos, get some more work done. So if the comp video isn't up yet, give this video a like to let me know you're excited to see it. If the comp video is up and you've seen it, give this video a like to congratulate me. And if the comp video is up and I sucked, then give this video a like to let me feel better. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.